hello to all my cancers. This is your Freedom Friday video. This is going to be for Thursday and Friday before we roll into this new moon in Virgo. We are still currently cancers in um, the last quarter moon. So you're going to finish out strong. You're going to finish strong. You're going to finish strong. You're going to finish strong. You're making it all about you. Plus Uranus just went retrograde and it will be retrograde. It went retrograde yesterday. Um, and it will be retrograde until January the 22nd, 2023. So that's about being a humanitarian, marching to the beat of your own drum. And this uh, this last quarter moon in, in Taurus is about creating and receiving. What is it that you want to receive in your universe? No drama, no none of that unnecessary stuff. You want to receive clear messages, Cancer. I'm talking to you if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. We have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Six of Swords. All right, Cancers. All right, all right, all right. So it looks like somebody finally sailed away from something that really just didn't serve your highest purpose. Like I said before, we have the Six of Swords energy right here. Six of Swords energy is, again sailing on to smoother calmer waters your ancestors are leading the way yes 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 i was trying to clap my hands but i'm i'm snapping my fingers same thing snapping my hands i'm just shaking up the atmosphere but anyway anyway the six of swords energy is about looking forward to better times leaving the past behind no re no regrets whatsoever so whether somebody left your life or you left their life you sailing on you're moving forward matter of fact any anxiety that you may have been feeling in your stomach is coming to an end. You still have a lot of great ideas, a lot of creativity. You're still feeling your your power is starting to come back. Your intellect is starting to come back. Like you may have felt like, man, I'm stuck in this area. You know, here I feel like I'm just emotionally becoming drained. I'm I'm drowning myself in this, but not anymore. You're you're getting your power back. You're getting your intellect back after coming out of this right here. Maybe a dark night of the soul, or like the nine of swords energy is sleepless nights kind of sort of regretting some past choices wishing that you were someone else like I, this can't be my life like right but again i do see all of that turning around for you all and i do see you getting your rest the four of swords energy is about taking a break to just reevaluate your life you know contemplating meditation all those wonderful things so this is great 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 i see a lot of you all spending more time maybe taking nature walks or just walking to walking from your house to wherever just being outside for maybe even a short period of time getting that sun on you to remove all that stale energy from you and getting back on your throne here we have the six of pentacles and also the queen of pentacles Yes, the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles energy is about a person who is nurturing, warm-hearted, someone who had their resources. You are, you are very, very well connected, and you know you're very well connected. After especially coming out of a compromising uh, period of trying to gain approval, like seeking approval from other people. And so if you've been waiting on something in terms of an approval, congratulations, there it is. Um, in terms of like not seeking approval from other people, women like seeking approval from like a, a grant or a, some kind of an approval about something having to do with money. So again, the energy of money. By now, you know that the energy of money is not just paper money, it's not just coins, because if the government decides that paper that you're holding or those coins that you hold have zero value, it'll be just as significant as monopoly money, right? So this is really about you no longer compromising your time. Time is currency. It's the greatest currency. So you're no longer compromising your time. You have a lot of connections. You are... You are um, highly creative and so this is about you deciding during this last quarter moon you're gonna bring it on home you know this strong what you're bringing on home is again you um it's really really about it's really about you um deciding what you want in your universe what you versus what you don't want in your universe okay yeah versus what you don't want in your universe so let's see let's see let's see let's see all right, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the King of Cups, we also have the Ace of Wands, and also the Wheel of Fortune, right? So you got a lot of things in your favor. Again, some cycles, the cycle has closed as we move towards a new phase within this new cycle. The new phase within this new cycle is going to kick off with this uh, new moon in Virgo. Very meticulous energy. You know that you are 
um, you know that you're landing on the bright side of this moon coming up when you feel more intellectual, more meticulous, more industrious, more steadfast and responsible. Matter of fact, this moon coming up lends greater dimension to your emotional nature. You know, so you're blessed with a rare combination of psychic truth and hard-headed realism. So something just like I said, not only that you have that, those psychic gifts, what I'm looking at here is that it's going to really hit somebody like, you know what, I do have a lot of psychic abilities. I didn't want to believe in those gifts for whatever reason. It could have been you were raised in the church or you were raised that this kind of stuff is demonic or evil or whatever, but you are starting to realize your feelings have always about uh, situations have been right cancer have been right so there's a lot of water in your cards here we have the knight of cups the queen of cups and the king of cups so this knight of cups is somebody saved themselves emotionally like you were your own knight in shining armor so now your reason for wanting to be in a relationship that's only if you want to be in a relationship is you're not looking for somebody to save you emotionally where you're just crying and bleeding all over them and being up one day and down the next just moody all over the place your reason now because you learn how to save yourself is significantly different than before the way that you dated is different than before but you had to sail away from some deep emotions about something maybe somebody deeply hurt you in the past they just deeply cut you like with a sword and you had some deep emotions about something so you're not looking for anybody to save you now. Matter of fact, you're a lot more selective about the energies that come across your path. You're still very maternal energy. You're still very compassionate. But again, in this Uranus being retrograde right now, you're more of a humanitarian to yourselves. Again, you're saving yourselves, Cancer. You're not necessarily looking for somebody to be there with you to save you, right? And you're extremely wise. So you know, okay, water is my best friend. Whenever I'm starting to feel emotionally drained by something, go take a spiritual bath, a spiritual shower, go swimming, you know, go to the beach, go sit down near a lake and journal, do something that's going where you're absorbing directly from water, nature, water, drink more water, but don't allow yourself to be, this is part of your wisdom. You're not going to allow yourself, I meant, I did, I meant to say not, um, you're not going to not don't. But you're not going to allow yourself to be contaminated by other people's toxins, talking about something you've already left behind, something in the past. You're not entertaining those conversations anymore. You see what I mean? So you're a lot wiser now. And so the energy coming across your path, if you desire to be in a romantic relationship, will be one who is very... Um, they are very in tune with your emotions. So they'll be very careful not to, like I said, sensitive to your emotions. So they'll be very careful not to put you in this space again of having sleepless nights, crying and frustrated and, and leaving you feeling some kind of way about something or whatever. Again, you've sailed away from something. You've decided to move on from something. And like I said, especially a heartbreak for somebody, a deep disappointment. You're learning how to mend your own broken heart, taking your own power back. And again, your third eye is open. So like I said, get ready to meet somebody. For some of you all who want to be in a romantic relationship after a heartbreak, get ready to meet somebody because the energy is going to come across your path and for you, because you emotionally left the pain behind, physically and emotionally left some pain behind, like I said, as compassionate as you are, you could you could know that they, whoever you had to leave behind and broke your heart, they may have grown up in an abusive household. They may have, again, you're putting yourself first for, for once, a lot of you all, before you were... You, you know, that compassion that you have for other human beings, you still have that level of compassion, but it's like, what about me? What about all the stuff I've gone through, right? And that's not selfish, it's actually self-care so that you can be a better nurturer to people, right? So let me make sure I drink my water first before I give you some water, because if I'm about to pass out and you're, you're stumbling through life because you got all these other things going on, you won't be able to see the water if I'm not full on my own water, right? If I haven't drank from my own water, meaning taking time for my spiritual baths, taking time for my me drinking water and possibly working out or whatever you need to do where water is involved for yourself, if I hadn't healed my own broken heart, how can I nurture you?
right? In other words, right? So let's see what else we got going on here, Cancers. Let's see what else we got going on here. So kudos to you, Cancers, for again, mending your own broken heart, even though you may have been broken hearted from something, right? Broken hearted from childhood, because this is like somebody, something happened in their earlier life like earlier child, long before you were broken hearted by love relationships and that kind of thing. So your ancestor says, you're just fine. Come on, we, we, I'm taking you with me. That's what your ancestors is like. I'm taking you moving forward. You got ancestors in front of you and behind you, moving you out of a situation where you were just deeply hurt and, and broken hearted by something. So if you didn't deal with, if you just put a bandaid over something that happened in your childhood and then somebody comes across your life and you feel like this is my love, this is my true love, and this is my person, and they break your heart, it's going to pull all the way back from that childhood with that band-aid. It's going to snatch the band-aid off, and it's going to feel like a complete open wound. So somebody learn how to not only mend their own broken night from having a lot of sleepless nights from being just disappointed, but they learn how to really get some rest, take some time for themselves. So that is, that's why there's no coincidence that we're in this last quarter moon of Taurus, which is a fixed sign, divine feminine earth sign, and then we're in this, we're also Uranus which is one of Aquarius's ruling uh, planets. Uranus is the humanitarian sign. And so you're going to be the best humanitarian to yourselves. So planets going retrograde is actually a wonderful thing. So don't get, you know, weird when it comes to planets going retrograde. This is an ex excellent retrograde for you to start focusing on you, changing something within yourselves. And that's what I'm seeing for somebody learning how to change some things within themselves. Let's see what else we got going on, Cancers. Let's see what else we have going on. Let's see what else we have going on, Cancers. Let's see. Don't forget to put your comments below, Cancers. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. We are in Virgo season. Like I said, any season that we're in, if you have that in your birth chart, you are more than welcome to participate in the giveaways. We just had a giveaway earlier today. Two people won it. That's like that's why I always tell people when I put the videos up, set your notifications to all. So whatever season we're in, if you want to if you want to win gifts or whatever, then tune into that video. We have the Queen of Swords. This you today that's different than the one yesterday is that you're vetting all the spirits coming into your life, including the ones that are trying to re-enter your life, right? A lot of times when people meet people, you know, reconnect with people from the past, you're reconnecting with an idea that, you know, you're trying to see the best in people. But there's nothing wrong with seeing the best in people. But you also got to remember they were out there in the world. What the, what was, what was What were they contaminated by? And they could be bringing that back to you. That's why you got to make sure you vet old and new spirits coming across your path and i'm talking about like the the old spirits coming across your path like this is your first time meeting them because you don't know what they have you know what toxins they have in their spirit so even if somebody from your past came back some of them you sailing away for good you're not letting them ever come back because you just need time to heal not because you're bitter and that kind of thing but you just need time to heal but there there's some people that may resurface like family members that may resurface and again you got to vet them all over again it's not going to be like hey how, how you doing we haven't seen each other in 20 years without acknowledging the fact that they cut you like a knife they did something to you to really really hurt you and so in that time of healing your own and mending your own broken heart like i said before you're very cautious moving forward you're very very cautious moving forward health checkup somebody wants to go to the doctor and get a health checkup just to make sure everything is okay because there's a lot of heart energy here like something could have like really broken your heart and so you can go see a regular doctor or a holistic doctor or whomever you need to do to fix you a a mental health doctor you can go see somebody schedule an appointment to mend your own broken heart to heal you from some deep disappointing something that happened to somebody like somebody feeling wounded you know feeling a little lost this is you healing yourself like feeling confused about something right so so that when your real knight and shining armor comes across your path for some of you all it's not that you're looking at them as trying to save you you're not trying to be distracted by somebody saving you because you've learned how to do it yourself right a new start is coming a new start is coming. So keep your vibrations very, very high during this time, Cancer, because a new start is coming, and it's all good. It's you taking your power back. This is the season for you to start being the best humanitarian to yourself. 
and making sure you're creating a peaceful universe for you. You're going to be surprised at the energies that are attracted to you because of that. I am diplomatic. Again, yeah, you're a very compassionate person. But be more compassionate to yourself first because you've been through a lot. You have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see the all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. That's right. Let's see what's the last message God has for you. What is the last message that Source has for you? What is the last message that Source has for you? Cancers, what is the last message that Source has for you? What is, oh, this card jumped out, the Empress card. <laughs> so get ready for your abundance. We know that you are the mother sign and the money sign. So whatever gifts that you're sharing with the world, is going to create a lot of abundance in your life. So again, like I said, if somebody's resurfacing from the past, vet them as if you never, ever met them. I don't care what, oh, remember the last time we saw each other? It doesn't matter because you don't know what energies have attached themselves to that spirit. And I mean, and it can go real deep back to them contracting something like somebody else's karmic cycle so you want to be very very careful cancer about what you allow in your space whether it's old or new vet everything coming your way okay that is what i have for you and i will see you all on sunday bye